Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick recording on how to analyse your skill strength and skill weakness for your GCSE PE coursework. Okay, this is where you choose which skills you're going to write about for this section. You can't change sports, it's got to be the same sport that you've already written about, you've already written your introduction for. Um, if you've chosen football, for example, you can choose passing maybe as a strength and then it might be heading as your weakness. Whatever you think you can write more about, um, I would choose as your weakness. If you're doing table tennis, you could choose service as a strength and maybe a smash as a weakness. Or for athletics, you might choose a start, your sprint start as your strength. You might choose your arm action as your weakness. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to choose passing over here for netball passing as my strength and I'm going to choose shooting as my weakness okay what you should now do is pause this video find your sport and decide what your strength is and what your weakness is if you're not sure or if your sport is not up here you need to contact your teacher before doing anything else I'm going to skip skill strength for now and just look at skill weakness so I said my skill weakness was shooting. So what I've done is gone onto YouTube and found a video of an elite netballer, Ellie Cardwell, plays for England Roses, who is a professional shooter. And then I can learn exactly what that technique should look like. So once I've learned the technique for shooting, I'm then going to compare my performance to Ellie Cardwell's. Now you need the person who's reading it to be able to visualise the correct technique. So I've done an example in here for you. Her, we're starting with her feet. Her feet are square, which keeps her balanced. So you're saying what the correct technique is first. You're then going to compare your own performance back to that. So when I perform it, my skill, I split one foot in front of the other, which means I'm off balance, which then makes the shot less accurate. So you've written the elite technique first, then you've compared it to your own performance. So Pictures are also really useful to have in there because it helps the person who's reading it be able to visualise what it is that you're talking about. Continuing the analysis but moving to different body parts, we're now going to look at the knees. Ellie Cardwell, obviously talking about the elite athlete first, she has slight knee flexion when preparing to shoot. You can see it in this picture. Uh, this means that she can use power from her legs to shoot. However, when I shoot, comparing it to your own performance, I don't bend my knees enough, that's good analysis here, um, which means that I don't always get enough power into my shot. So this bit, when you're analysing your own performance, is really important. Again, I've done another example here about how where our arms are and then how that compares to my performance. So you can pause this and then break down the technique of your chosen skill into all the different body parts what the elite person does versus what you do. Everything that you say needs to talk back, go back to impact. So why is it important that you have this correct technique? Well, it's important because you need, to, need it to be able to score more goals, to have a better um, shooting accuracy. To have a better shooting accuracy would have an impact on your team because you'll be able to score more points for your team. And then if you are scoring more points, you are more likely to win the game and to have more um, more overall goals in comparison to your opponents. This bit here is what everyone tends to always forget. An example of when this skill was a weakness. So you need to talk about a specific netball match or a specific swimming race, whatever it is, when it was a weakness that you can say that your shooting was bad uh, when you was playing against this team. This match was important because, and the scenario was, you got past the ball on a couple of occasions, you kept missing because of whatever reason to do with your technique, and then that meant that you um, scored less goals for your team, you ended up getting subbed off, and you really let your team down, and they ended up losing. When you talk about your skill strength, it's probably going to be slightly shorter. You still need to do everything that we've just mentioned in terms of introducing your skill and then breaking it down into each different aspect, uh, each in different body parts, and then talking about how you perform the skill. But obviously it's not a weakness, so really you are probably performing it correctly. So you're not going to compare 
as such to an elite athlete. You just go through how exactly you perform that skill. Why it's important, what that means for your team, the impact it has on your team, and then an example of when this was a strength. So when did you do really, really accurate at passing? And then how did that impact your team? That is everything for the skill, analyzing your skill strength and your skill weakness for your GCDP coursework. Remember, you can give your teacher a shout on either email or MS Teams to help you with anything that's been mentioned in this video.